I'm not a big fan of these iPads that the coffee shops have because I will order like a single muffin and hand them a credit card and they spin around the iPad and it's like, do you want to leave a tip of 50%, 90%, 110%? And the barista's just looking at the iPad, just like, go ahead, I'm, yeah, I'm watching very carefully. Right, like, have any of you people ever tried to press the no tip button? I love this. This is, this is why it works so well. You're so ashamed you won't even admit it if you pressed it. You're like, oh no, I leave 150% every time. But like, to be clear, baristas, uh, you should be paid a living wage, but include that in the price of my muffin. Like, why am I giving you a bonus for doing your job? Like, this week I flew to Louisville, Kentucky, and when I got off the flight, the pilot was not at the door with an iPad like, do you want to give me a tip of $100? $200, $300, because I would be like, no, not, not really. Well, I did land the plane safely. <laughs> yeah, I just, I kind of assumed that that was included in uh, the price of the ticket. I assumed that was your actual job. The thing about the muffin scenario is that I'm having to choose the tip, and I haven't even been handed the muffin yet. What if the barista is bad at handing muffins? I know. This is why I just fundamentally disagree with this sort of like cultural idea we have of like, let's punish poor performance by reducing the bonus by five to 10%. That makes no sense. Again, like if a pilot like crash landed every flight, the airline wouldn't be like, let's lower his end of year bonus by 5%. That'll motivate him to fulfill his basic job description. No, like if, if a pilot can't land the plane, don't give the pilot a bonus, like give the passengers a refund. Uh, like, that's what I think. But like knowing the airline industry, I assume they would be like, hey, listen, uh, we can pull you out of that burning plane, but there is going to be a $200 cancellation fee. <laughs> you should have read the fine print. And the firefighter rescues you, and then he pulls out an iPad. Do you want to leave a tip of $500? $1,000? $2,000? Now, before I start getting trolled by all the Bernie bros, I just want to clarify, I'm not saying these people should be paid less. If anything, they probably deserve to be paid more. I'm just complaining about this phenomenon that I like to call gratuity creep, which is the trend of employers using technology platforms to add prompts to guilt consumers into adding gratuity onto transactions that have not historically had gratuity associated with them. Any kind of retail transaction at a counter that uses an iPad, also delivery services, ride share, etc. Don't be fooled, this is not a way for the employees or the contractors to be paid more. This is simply a way to pass the cost of wages along to the consumer. Obviously, this is a topic on which earnest and smart people might disagree, and you're welcome to disagree with me in the comments. I'm just saying, me personally, I would rather pay more prices and eliminate the awkward do you want to add a tip moment on the iPad. Okay, transition. The rest of this video is for comedy nerds only. This is a stand-up bit I started developing in my show last fall. Originally, it was an observation not about tipping per se, but about the changing attitude of coffee shops toward credit cards. Because remember like five years ago when coffee shops hated credit cards and they put a little handwritten sign by their cash register? It would say something like, please pay in cash, like the mean credit card companies will take two or three percent. In other words, when I first started working out this stand-up bit, what I thought was funny here was the juxtaposition of coffee shops previously complaining about a 3% surcharge added by credit card companies with their now using iPads to request a 30% surcharge in the form of gratuity from you, the consumer. But I tried this bit on audiences and nobody else really thought it was funny. And now, boy, do they love credit cards now, right? Right. No one appreciates observational math humor, you know? I eventually cut out the first part and expanded the second part, which I originally thought was just gonna be a tag on the core premise. But of course that's where the laughs were because unlike my weird nerdy math-based humor, this is the pain point, right? This awkward experience that we all have and is therefore relatable about having to choose a tip on an iPad. And I'm always afraid to like press no tip because like, I, I think something's gonna come up on the iPad. Like, are you a complete asshole, yes or no? <laughs> and the iPad's gonna start blinking and buzzing. Meh, meh, no tip, no tip, no tip. And all the baristas are gonna be like, shame! <laughs> Shit, they're gonna throw rotten vegetables. All right, thanks for watching. We should hang out sometime.